Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Brain Logic. Really interesting challenge today. What is the correct answer? Right here we have 5 minus 5 times 5 minus 5. On the first side, this is like the easiest question you've ever seen. We don't have like a complicated expression. We have only subtraction, only multiplication. So everyone learned this stuff in the third grade. So it looks like everyone can solve this. But many won't get right, many will get wrong with this question. And I wanted to record this video. But before solving this question, I suggest you to pause the video, try to solve it by yourself, check your brain. Right here we have three option A, B and C, so choose one option, what do you think is correct, and write your option down into the comment section, okay? Here is our question, here is our option, and let's let's look at it. First of all, I want to start with this solution. So we have 5, we have 5, minus 5, times 5, and minus 5. So here is our question, and most of you out there are like, yes, I can handle this question, we have 5 minus 5 equal to 0 on the left-hand side, and we have 5 minus 5 on the right-hand side equal to 0, so this multiplication in the middle, so 0 times 0 equal to equal to 0, and we have this option A, so most of you solve this question like that, and of course this is absolutely wrong solution, because we cannot solve this question like that, we cannot jump from left to right, we need to know, we should know about order of operation, because in math we need to know about order of operation, we cannot solve question chaotically, we cannot jump, we need to know what is the first step, what is the second step, and what is the third step. Because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And of course, we reject this option A, which is absolutely wrong, forget about this solution, this is very bad solution. For this question, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. For example, there are uh, many others, for example, Bodmas, but I as uh, sold it according to PMDMC, and we will have the same answer. Doesn't matter, Bodmas, PMDMC, we will have the same answer. So right now let's solve this question according to a correct order of operation. Let's look at it. So we have 5, minus 5, we have times 5, minus 5. So here is our question, and let's look at our order. So this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, and we need to go through the steps real quick. So we have, first step, parentheses. Let's look at it. Where do we have these parentheses? I don't see any of those. We don't have any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part. We just, we don't have parentheses, and it's it's brilliant. Because with parentheses, for example, we will have like more complicated expressions, so we reject this step. Exponents, what about exponents? Maybe cubes, squares? I don't see any of those, so we just reject this step once more, so we, we don't have like parentheses and exponents. Okay, multiplication and division group, let's look at it. Where do we have this multiplication and division sign? Let's look at it. Multiplication division sign, right here, subtraction, we don't need it. Yeah, we have multiplication sign right here in the middle. So this is a really interesting moment, because as you can see, before we subtract it first, but right here, as you can see, first step after parentheses and exponent is multiplication and division group. So we have multiplication group right here, and we don't have division, but doesn't matter, we have multiplication, so we need to start from this multiplication. But I want to say one really important moment, as you can see right here, we don't have any addition sign, but we have a subtraction sign, so we have only two steps from this PMDMC. We have multiplication and subtraction, but if you look closely, multiplication is all the time before subtraction, all the time, you need to subtract, you need to, sorry, you need to multiply this in the middle, doesn't matter in the middle, on the left, on the right, but you need to multiply all the thing, and then you need to, you should subtract this uh, on what we will have as a result. So 5 minus 5 uh, minus 5 times 5 in the middle, so we have 5 minus. Right here we multiply in 5 times 5, which is equal to 25, and minus 5 in the end, so minus, minus 5. Okay, right now, subtraction, so we complete this multiplication step, we don't have division and addition, we have subtraction step, let's subtract it, so 5 minus 25, we have minus 20, and minus 20 minus 5, we have minus 25, so equal to minus 25. So as you can see, completely different answer, this is option C. But one really interesting note from me, right here, if you put brackets, brackets uh, right here, then we will have the correct answer. Correct answer will be zero, because we need to start from parentheses right here, parentheses right here, so correct answer will be zero. But in our case, we don't have parentheses, so we reject this zero, which is like a huge mistake, a lot of students do this mistake, so we need to forget about this mistake. But with this explanation, with this uh, PMDMC, we have option minus 25. And I want to say, I want to show you a really interesting algebra trick as well. So we have 5 minus 5 times 5 minus 5. In algebra, if we have the expression right here in the beginning with, with positive sign, and in the end with negative sign, we can easily cancel this. So this one can be cancelled, and this one can be cancelled. So as a result, we have minus 5 times 5, which is equal to minus 25. So absolutely the same 
absolutely the same as right here. So this is option C. Let's write our answer. So right here, let's write our answer. This is option. Option C is a correct answer to this question. So we hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I hope you understand my explanation and thank you for your time. Thank you for your support and I wish you all the best in your life and in your mathematic adventures. See you in the next videos.